Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more to Manalords. How very good of you to join, how great of you to join once more. And yes, glad you're still sticking around to this absolutely beautiful city builder we're playing right now. A new year is dawning, a very interesting year, because now we're facing the first raider attack, right, in 12, well, minutes. I guess it's about time for this. Um, and yeah, we we have well prepared for this, I think. We have a spear militia and we have almost uh, 36 archers ready for action. The only thing that's actually missing for us here for the spear is the equipment and for the archers is recruits that we don't have. We just don't have more people right now. These guys right now are just living their daily life, right? They're only going to join the army when we rally. And once we rally, these people will leave their workplaces, go to their homes, gather their equipment, and then gather in a central spot where I put the rallying flag. And they will not work for the duration. So I want to make this as quick as possible, or as short as possible, having them rallied. Because, yeah, we lose workforce, basically. And it is February. That means nature comes to life soon, and then the whole farming process starts, and I really don't want to mess around with my productivity there too much. So we need to be super careful um, how soon we actually rally those guys. Now, before that raider attack hits, I want to prepare something else, something very important for us, and that's the manor house. And in this case, the manor house is important for us because it provides taxation, policies, that's a new tab that we have then up here, and also provides me with mercenary groups if I want to. The only thing is, where should we place it? The thing is, you can always place it again somewhere else. It acts more or less like a blueprint version. So if we if we place it here, for example, which would be my desired area right now, the, the reason for this is we have lots of open area around it. So that's good for protection then when we have the guard towers. Also, it's close enough to the city. So it makes sense to me to have it in this area here for now. And let's just go ahead and place the first one. And as you can see, this opens up now the castle planner that we have. Um, that's a whole one. And we can then move it around within the castle planner if I want to. I can add then walls and gates to it. I can also have, add towers to it then as well, uh, wherever we want to have it, right? So in this case here, there is then a tower, for example, right? So an outer tower. We have also a garrison tower that we can have. And yeah, we also have then the tax office as well, which makes sense to me to have it then as well somewhere here, even though the tax office is only cosmetic right now. Um, since I don't want to waste too many resources right now, it's already pretty expensive as is. Um, let's go ahead and start the manor house somewhere here. So this construction will then take quite some time. Let's also make a road connection here where we can then have then the wall around that. All right, of course, the more pressing issue right now will be then the Raiders. Also high population growth. There is more burgages coming along. So my goal is then to have more burgages than here as well, right? So we need to think about more districts as of course, the bigger my town gets, the higher the density in the center should get and the lower density we have than outside. So this would be then the, the general planning because these buildings will look fantastic when we upgrade them. I would also like to add two more here, just beside the church, in the back. Then we have the forager hut here. And the next plot has been finished too. Five more, so I think at this point it's safe to rally. Let's go ahead and do this. The spear militia. Wait a second. Now let's wait for them to actually appear on the map before we rally. It doesn't take that long to rally anyway. I haven't really started here yet, right? Hmm with the fields. I mean, it's still only February, I guess, in, uh, in until March, then spring, then we have it. Yeah, and as you can see, it's actually coming along really quickly. We have four families right now that work solely on construction. And here we have then a really nice big area for that. All right, so now it is upon time. Let's rally and let's actually rally them somewhere over here and also my arches. And now it takes a bit of time. For the whole village to gather and become one unit, one army, one line of defense against the oncoming raiders.
All right. At this point, everybody has gathered. We have the spear units. And we have the archers. And let's just check it out where those raiders are. They probably come from somewhere over here. It's still hard to tell sometimes. You don't see them until the last second as far as I understand, right? They're hiding in the forest most of the time. There they are. There's the outlaws. But this is just the Baron again fighting against the outlaws himself. So this is not the raider attack. There's some fighting still going on over here then. Hmm, where are they coming from? In the meantime, we have finished though the manor house. There it is. It's a small manor for now, right? And in this case here, this is now where we finally have then also taxation enabled. And for taxation, we have two areas right now for our at our disposal. Uh, let's just also quickly check out the the bandits because they they will be coming. It's just a matter of time. And land tax we have now and the tithe. Now the tithe is something where we can use food for taxation. Uh, this is not really good. We would get influence out of that, which is very powerful, of course, to claim new territories. However, uh, we don't have that much food right now. <laughs> so in this case here, let's go ahead and actually enable land taxation. This is going to lower my approval rating. If I increase it by 10%, we lose 7 approval rating, which I think we can actually afford. And this will then directly contribute to my treasury that we can also use to hire mercenaries, retinue, um, diplomacy, and also settling in new regions. Very important that we increase that. So this is different than my regional wealth that we have. A lot of things happen at the same time there right now, unfortunately, which makes it a bit chaotic. I'm still also waiting for the... for the attack, right? So far, nothing in sight. I think at least the wives... And the sons should be able to know. Yeah, husband and son is always waiting, right? They're waiting in the, in the retinue right now. The wives continue to work. <laughs> I'm sorry for this. You have to do it alone. But there might be an attack on your village on Sleepy Hollow. She's pulling through, though, because she knows that it's very important to get the fields working. So this is really hurting me right now. Bad, bad timing on that attack. Because we have we need the fields to get cracking. It might actually also be that the the Baron that is close by, or those brigands here, right, the Baron, actually really destroying those bandits. It looks like it almost. Because there are waves of, of uh, outlaws coming in right now. But in this case, there's more of them, right? These are mercenaries though. So I think it's safe to say to actually assume there's no attack coming in. Because those bandits are getting killed by the Baron already and his mercenaries. Right. That's actually good for us, right? I mean, it's a bit confusing, but I think we can put everybody back to work again, which would be my goal to here. So let's disband those units once more. There they are, right? And they are now going back to their original work. And let's just hope that there is no big attack coming in. Otherwise, we have to rally again at the last second. And it's farming season. It's super important that we get everybody on the field. We've also reached over 100 people, right? So more people actually moved in in the meantime. And we're growing rather quickly right now to 110. Uh, at the moment, though, we have then already... No, we have enough food. Uh, we need to make sure that we're always having the right menu activated. And also what we can see is we have lots of iron ore in now, right? There's two families working here. Let's actually reduce this to one. And I would like to continue now with also my iron production then. So industry we have, and there we have the bloomery. It needs firewood to be fueled. And other than that, we can make some nice iron out of it. 
Let's just find us a su suitable location for this. Uh, already here, we have the, the saw pits, right? So it might make sense to also have the bloomery then somewhere here. We could also expand the industry zone a bit further up. But I think let's actually have it here then. And the next construction starts. I can't even enjoy this right now because I'm always looking over my shoulder. You always need to be so careful. For now though, I don't see also any soldiers here. There is now something, right? But there is the Baron mercenaries again, clutching together with those bandits here. So I guess that's also one of those outlaws that actually would have went or would have actually attacked us. But for some reasons, those mercenaries are just right in the path. Which is a coincidence. Certainly not scripted. And their will has been broken right at the beginning, seeing the overwhelming forces of the mercenaries. So they're already fleeing again. Now, Eichenau is being claimed right now, which is... over here so it's pretty far away actually from us so i think there's no reason in challenging him for this and while we're on the map it's also really nice to see those details right how my village is looking up here now i love how the game is actually also displaying your village and also all your roads on this beautiful map fantastic work All right, next up in the manor house, uh, let's just quickly check it out. I would like to increase my taxes further to 20%. The uh, approval rating continues to go up and we'll have hopefully some nice new things this year to provide to my to my village, obviously. Uh, yeah, how's it looking there on the battlefields? Um, I could actually, as I said, challenge him to his claim, but I'm not doing this because we're too weak at the moment for this yet. We need to have some proper defenses first, and this is where the mana house is coming in then as well. Also, we need to have just a few more soldiers, and hiring mercenaries would be ideal. However, as you can see, they cost money, right, from the treasury, and we don't have no, uh, we don't have any money yet at, in the treasury. So, in this case, let's just wait it out, right? This claim is not important to us anyway, since it's on the other side of the map, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Once it's in, in a neighboring uh, territory we are however going to war there for sure um, but for this I need to still prepare a bit more now spring season it is the berries are coming in again um, yeah bandit camp was also sighted somewhere close by it seems is this really close by it's not that close by it's fine right to keep it there right now and also those new manors have been built burgages uh, there's my apiaries, right? So also the center here is getting a bit more dense. We still have a bit of area here then available. And I would also like to keep a bit of an area around the, the manor, that is. So they're going to pay me now 20% of their income collected from the, the regional wealth to my treasury per month. Um, and in this case here, this hopefully leads to quite a bit of money. It's the only way of increasing my treasury, by the way. I can't do it with trading, trading alone, right? Now, in the trading, we have now running still the, the planks, but I think oh, we are really down on planks. There is no, no money to be made here. And then we have then also our um, war bows here that we are still exporting. What a dreary day it is. Still, doesn't matter. We have finished the bloomery. Let's assign a family to this. And those guys here will now finally produce the iron ingots for us out of the iron ore that we have already in stock. So the large stores we have here, there's the iron ore already coming in. And then they also need firewood, of course, for this to work. We have plenty of firewood available right now. Uh, so this should be no problem. And with that, we can also go ahead and get the next artisans in, I think. Right. So in this case here, oh, we don't have any planks right now. I would then like to go ahead with the blacksmith that produces us then tools and spears and sidearms for all of this also 110 coin out of the latest warpo expand uh, export very nice thank you very much do i still have warbows in left in stock now 35 right so that's my limit 
Finally, the planks are in again. Let's build the blacksmith. And beside it, we might then also work on the armor's workshop. For this, we need, however, a point in the development branch. And with that, we can get male armor and plate armor out. So really nice, um, really nice workers there. Uh, Join us workshop is important, actually, because we need the shields too, right? So with this, we have then the ability to build us another spear militia unit um, as well, which are just very powerful overall. So that's two very important constructions ongoing. And there is also now the blacksmith enabled, a beautiful extension that we have now to this one. And with the blacksmith, we have now the ability to produce us tools, sidearms, spears, and pole arms. It depends on what we want to have here. Um, now, it's important. Let's just check it out there. Mm, for the, I think for the sidearm that we have, this would be then the militia footman, I guess. Right, we can disband this again. We also have the pole arm militia and the archer militia. So the militia footmen will then require those um, heavy weapons that we have, the sidearms there as well, because these are the axes. I don't need this right now, I think, right? So I'm going ahead with the with tools for the moment. Because tools we can use for our own productivity increase. Also the joiner, there they are, right? Producing now shields for us. We could also have wooden parts for them that they can produce or also large shields. Now the spearmen that we have there, they require actually large shields, right? So let's go ahead and start production of large shields. This is two planks that we need here again. Also my archer unit is fully occupied and with that we'll, we should be able to actually get a second one then as well. I would like to have two archers and two tank units available then for any kind of battle. Plus a bit of money is already coming into the treasury as we can see and with that we can also hire mercenaries on top of it. So my army is growing there nicely too. Now hopefully planks are coming in again. Yes, very good. And we should also be seeing now the first... Iron slabs. There it is already 29 in stock thanks to the bloomery. Perfect. This is then being used for my artisans. Um, I might actually go for a second blacksmith so we can have tool production but also at the same time have then the weapon production activated. And for my farmers outside since we have a bit of money I would like to go ahead and get me another chicken coop and another vegetable garden. Leather is no problem right now, so I'm, yeah, or actually let's go ahead with another gold farm as well. Let's check out if there's any armies approaching. There's not. We should be golden. I think the Baron really destroyed the brigands that were attacking us. <laughs> Why not? I take it. And of course, as every ruler, we should also have a look at our area from once in a while. And there is the actual my manor house. It's a bit hidden right now with all the bushes and trees in between. There it is, right? Not looking very majestic at the moment. If it weren't for the road, you probably would not find it at all. Alright, so here actually would make sense probably to erase shrubbery that we have. There you go. Right, to make this area more visible to us. Perfect. Much cleaner than before. Of course, those trees are from the Forester Hut that we have not too far away. Over here. The fields at this point are growing, by the way. And I'm looking forward to my first barley harvest, especially. Food, not so much, but barley it is. Because with that, we can make some ale. Now the next blacksmith is finished and actually let's produce some pole arms right now. This would be another army type that we have and that's the pole arm units. I think they're for heavy damage, right? They have no shields however, so we do need to still have a unit with shields protecting them and they will do then the majority of damage together with the archers. Very good. At this point the yield is growing now on the fields finally. Though as we can see for barley for example we don't have a high fertility in this area. Wheat, however, should be fine. And the next mining pit is exhausted. This one here with the iron, so we no longer need that. Uh, those people are still transporting the iron door over, right? So I'm still going to keep them occupied a bit there. And then we have another workforce available for us. Since many people are moving in, 120 we have now almost. 
on the mark. I think we need more burgages once more. And for that we can use this general area now that is quite barren at the moment. So let's continue with that road that we have. This road is probably a main road that goes then all the way down here to the the, the regional road, right? And here we can then have more burgages left and right of it. Yeah, unfortunately the snapping is not always not always a blessing. There you go. So that'll be also grow in this area further. Perfect. Yeah, I'm a bit low on the planks. I'm already using two people, families, in the saw pit. Still not enough, since we do need a lot of these planks right now. Also, of course, for my artisans. I'm quite busy on the streets right now. Another thing with the manor house is now policies that we have enabled, so we can also check this out. Unfortunately, the first tier is not really promising right now. We have basically two options. That's the hunting grounds. Wild animals and rich deposits breed twice as fast, but on the other side, the crops yield 50% reduced yields. This is really not good, right? Because we would sacrifice our whole farming area just for my single wild meat, even though not even that is possible because we don't have a rich deposit on wild animals anyway. The other one is citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces the food consumption, however also decreases approval. Now the thing is we don't have a food problem, so I don't see why I should sacrifice uh, approval for this, right? People can eat normally. If however my food gets too low, it might be a nice emergency policy that we can activate to reduce my food consumption overall. Now, no, 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 no. I think the next constructions are coming along, yep, splendidly. So there we have it for more people to move in. And how's my harvest looking? It's tuned at this point. Yeah, it's going to be a nice barley harvest for sure. Also, the wheat is now growing. We, however, only have three fields, so I might also want to expand on this here um, in the future or pretty soon, actually. We should be doing this. And also more iron being produced for us. Very nice. We actually have way too much iron, but, you know, the iron that we have is finite. So in this case here, there's no more iron coming in. We need to claim another territory if I want to achieve that. Uh, by the way, stone-wise, we're at 66. We might consider also using more of my stone deposit. That we still have, right? For claiming a new territory, because this is slowly now taking in effect, um, we need to get a bit more influence, or I'm hoping that the Baron will actually put out a claim and then we can fight him for it. At this point, we have enough money for at least two mercenary regiments, plus my own troops. That should be enough to defeat him. I hope so, at least. We also have now 11 pole arms in stock, so let's go ahead and create us the next army type, and that's the pole arm militia. 11 out of 36 it is, right? So we just don't have more. I think, though, it's not a problem with recruits anymore. Ah, it is. Actually, yeah, we cannot grow further. So recruits are missing from my archers again. Some of them moved over to the polar unit, right? Um, that's then four units. The retinue that we have here, that's some heavy armored units coming automatically with the manor. So we can actually rally them. Right, and there they are. These are not part of my village. So if I rally them... There's no real cost besides just having them here. And in this case, yeah, they will be the outermost protection then for the for the manor itself. Perhaps we're even part of it. This guy looks strikingly similar to what I like to be in real life. <laughs> uh, let's actually get them back though into their into the home again. And yeah, so far so good. The year is coming along, the first harvest is upon us. And then we can actually work really finely towards level 3 because we have then the ale available. We still also need to do some upgrades there. Bad weather it is. Seems to be a region for bad weather in general. People will have to endure. And Sleepy Hollow continues to grow. Stay tuned.